Welcome to the Sober Q podcast. G'day, my name's Chris and I'm an alcoholic. The topic that I've been asked to share on is what solution are we offering to newcomers? I think the biggest one that comes to me is the blueprint of a different way to live and be happy. When I drank, I drank to change the way I felt inside. I saw others be happy and seem to fit in with their surroundings without any perceived effort. That didn't come naturally to me. I need to have a couple of drinks before I felt that way. I knew in my bones that I could not keep drinking many times in the past, but not drinking for any stretch of time seemed to become more and more confusing for me, and I was led back to alcohol every time. My mind conveniently forgot about the problems I had been in, the promises I had made to not embarrass or hurt those I loved again. I was powerless over alcohol, whether it was in my body or not. It's important to get identification with the newcomer because if they don't understand the problem, then they won't implement the solution. So alcohol used to be the solution for me, and I can only speak for myself. It used to be my solution to the confusing, baffling things in my life I didn't know how to do, which was a great deal of things. So that's what I believe we are offering the newcomer, a better way to live, one that works and gets better over time. Alcohol for me got worse over time. I have found that this program, the one that is described in the big book, titled Alcoholics Anonymous, has given me and countless others a better way to live. It works in rough going, whereas previously, during tough times, I turned to alcohol and it made the situation worse. Now I have this solution in my life and it keeps getting better. When I talk to a newcomer at a meeting, I try and get to know them a bit and do a bit of story swapping. If they are curious about how I have remained sober, I take them through the work I have done and the actions I take on a daily basis to stay out in front of alcohol. Extremely happy about it all too, I might add. Now, I literally just got off a 12-step call with a family member desperately seeking help for a child that was, by all appearance, drinking against their will, just like I used to. We spoke for a while and as they explained their confusion as to why their child could not stop drinking, I tried to help by explaining the problem. A body that keeps drinking and a mind that won't let me be separated from it long term. They got identification with that and wanted to know what AA or I could do to help. I offered exactly this, a better way to live. I explained some of the things that had changed for me. My once estranged wife and I were very happily in love and our relationship was better now than it ever had been. My children, who barely knew me, now loved me and wanted me around. The family member's voice sparked up as they wanted this for their child. Now, I didn't go too much into detail as it wasn't the right time or place. I did, however, briefly talk about the effort and reconstruction I had done. After all, this is a program of action. Now, I am just following the instructions of those in front of me, and the program of action that is specifically illustrated in the big book. I keep getting great results, and I want to keep telling the newcomer about them. I remember what it was like to walk in the room and not know what I wanted, but knew I had found it. I now have the words for it. A better way to live. Thanks for letting me share. If you would like to share your experience on a recovery question, visit the Sober Q Podcast website at S-O-B-E-R-Q. Thanks for listening.